Hey there, Star Wars fans. This is Westatron. Today we're going to be taking a look at another one of Hasbro's Star Wars The Black Series. This is number 03, the Sand Trooper. Uh, now, this has got the same type of window box that the uh, Luke and X-Wing pilot uniform that we already reviewed uh, comes in. And uh, it's very simple design. Black for most of it. The emblem of the uh, character up here is sort of like a stamp effect. Uh, you can see all of his weapons and everything in here. Uh, I have already opened him, so he should have a rifle here, but it's kind of laying in the bottom of the uh, tray just because it was hard to get back in the package. And on the back, we've got a shot of uh, the sand troopers as they're, uh, looks like, uh, oh yeah, this is the scene where uh, Luke is uh, with, there with uh, Obi-Wan and Obi-Wan is telling them that they're not the droids they're looking for. CC-3PO here in the background and up here closer up you can see their quote, these aren't the droids we're looking for. So very cool, you know, very simple packaging, uh, very direct, uh, but I like that. So easy to put back in there if you're a display only collector but still want to mess with your toys a little bit so that's pretty much it about packaging let's get him out and see what he's like here we have the sand trooper out of packaging in a sort of a crouching firing pose uh, and this guy really really does look outstanding he looks just wonderful I think they did a great job translating him over to six inch scale now this uh, figure out of the set is probably the best value for your money um, Probably, I say, because Darth Maul actually comes with a lot of accessories, too. But um, he actually comes with just a ton, a ton of stuff. So, on his own, you've got the figure, of course. His huge backpack is removable and has a lot of great detail on it. You can see if it'll focus. Now you can see. Uh, they did a really great job of making everything just really really nicely detailed lots of great color details uh, most of it is cast in black but it you know it was you know so it's, it doesn't look weird um, nice leather details on the uh, pouches there very cool you see how it looks like cracked leather very very neat and the design of this backpack is very interesting because this is on a swivel and it's packaged sort of like this uh, and then once you uh, put the peg on the figure's back which goes on the left side interestingly enough, instead of in the middle, uh, I guess to fit in that cog, uh, you just kind of pop this over his shoulder. So you just sort of like hook it, and then it just kind of clicks into place. Now the backpack is very heavy, so it may pop off with a little play, and you can see how it's kind of making him a little back heavy, but a little balancing with the ankles, and he's okay. But yeah, it comes with the backpack. We've got the uh, super long rifle. I'm sorry, I don't remember their names. I'll have to look them up, but... This is the one that I always kind of uh, uh, stick to the uh, sand troopers because this is it's, it feels like the most iconic sand trooper weapon just because it is enormous. But you can see there's some nice uh, metal weathering there. They did a really cool job with that on the uh, bipod and on the uh, heat shield. I guess you would kind of consider that on the barrel. Very very cool. Nice details. We've got the. Uh, Bazooka light gun, which I'll also look up the name of because I don't think it's called the DC-15 bazooka light gun uh, But nice gold details on the strap. The strap is painted a separate kind of greenish brown color, maybe olive drab um, Brown on the stock and the handle sort of like a Thompson Very 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 cool very nice gun. Now this one did come a little bit warped in package It's the only weapon I've seen so far from the whole series that came warped um, but that's because it's over his shoulder, I think maybe just because he's got too many weapons um, to fit in the tray comfortably. So it, it does kind of hang over his shoulder and might get a little warped in packaging. But you could probably fix that with some warm water. And then we've got the, there we go, the uh, short little submachine rifle. Very, very cool. The magazine goes on the side like that. Just looks fantastic. Um, at this scale, they probably could have done what Sideshow did. Um, and made the stock move back and everything, but that's like a whole other barrel of crap that I don't even remember ever seeing in the movies So why even bother with it, you know, but looks good very cool. He can hold them all, you know, fairly convincingly um, The only issue with his holding weapons is that his uh, left hand which would be his uh, kind of foregrip hand uh, It doesn't have a huge grip on it because it's also a gun hand and it's very very tight like very very tight there's not a lot of play to the fingers so it might be a little bit hard to get it in that hand but as far as the figure itself himself um, he looks fantastic 
nice uh, brown weathering all over, but all those great painted details that you expect from Hasbro. Um, in terms of their stormtroopers, they've come a long way and really kind of getting them done nowadays. You know, they, they look great. Um, I did read on the Floosh, um, I'm sorry, on Toy Arc, um, they were saying that the uh, helmet uh, was a little more weathered than the rest of the body, and it was distracting. On mine, you can see it's not the case. There's a lot of weathering all over my figure. Um, like, I don't think there's a spot that looks like it doesn't fit with the rest of the figure. Um, looks very, very nicely done. I really, really like it. Um, they got great details on the abdomen there. You know, all those little, uh, uh, just panel lines and buttons and everything. Really, really cool. The lining on the armor is fantastic. Just outstanding. And peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Just really, really cool. And as I said, the backpack does come right off. And then you can see all those details back there as well. So outstanding. Again, we've got more pouches down here on the side. With that same kind of weathering, which it might be difficult to see, but it is there. Well, not so much weathering as just cracked leather details. If it'll focus, there we go. You can see that a little better now. So very, very cool. I promise you I'm not trying, trying to just show you a close-up of his behind. But, uh, hey, it's there. Let's not deny what Stormtroopers are really about. Uh, Articulation-wise, we've got uh, a whole lot going on here. Some good, some bad. We've got uh, ball-jointed head. Excellent range there, you know. And then we've got a hinge on the head as well, so check this out. His head can go back to look up. A decent amount which is cool because he can watch all of his prey fly away because stormtroopers can't hit anything and then we've got a forward hinge of course that makes it go way down as well and you also have to remember that this shoulder pauldron will prevent some of his movement so the stormtrooper that comes out using this base in I think series 3 will have excellent range of motion his head pops right off you can slide this over and you can see you wanted to you could make your own stormtroopers just by cleaning up the armor but you can see how much range of motion you've got now so very very good and the forward goes way down when you do that and the back looks way further up so that way his prey is much farther away because they can't hit the shuttle as it flies away either so very very cool there uh, we've got swivel hinge shoulders which unfortunately these pauldrons are glued on, um, near as I can tell. Uh, I can't, like you can see how it pulls away here, but it doesn't here. So out to the side, they only go about that far, which is a shame. I think that they could have done something where they glued the pauldron here and left this just to be stretchy material up here to where you would have more range of motion. You know, the armor could form a little better, but that's what you get. Swivels in the biceps. We've got double hinged elbows. So the first point will get only about that far and then the second point comes up about there so not bad there you know um, since they're gonna get a lot of reuse out of this body it's okay that they went ahead with double joints and the elbows as well um, but I kinda would have preferred if they had gone with uh, a little more articulation of the feet instead um, But we've got ball jointed midsection so forward I like that it's not painted underneath so, um, Forward, back, excellent range of motion there. Side to side is fantastic. This is really, really nice work. And of course, the swivel is retained. We've got ball jointed hips. So forward, back a little bit blocked by the uh, butt pack here. And then out to the side. Out to the side is fantastic. The forward and back is limited also because of the design of the armor. Um, if I was... Uh, Hasbro, I would have cut this down a little bit just to save some of the articulation. Made because you saw his firing pose earlier wasn't perfect. It was kind of like okay, but not great. Um, I would have cut these down a little bit higher so the leg could move a little more forward, um, and it would have made for some very nice military poses, which would have been cool. But hey, you can do that yourself, of course, because this is a separate kind of. It sort of overlays over this joint, so that the swivel joints are here in the thighs. And they rotate also very tight, just like on Luke. Um, but yeah, you could trim that down a little bit with an X-Acto knife if you wanted to save the articulation. That's up to you. Double hinge knees. So first point gets almost 90 degrees. And then second point takes you all the way back. Very, very nice there. Great articulation in the knees. Unfortunately, the feet is where all of that kind of suffers and is made a little bit useless because he doesn't have any swivels in the calves or at the top of the ankles. So, 
nothing there to turn that, which is unfortunate because he's got that great uh, hinge joint with the swivel. And again, as I've said before, if you put his leg out to the side and it swivels and it doesn't lay flat and you can't turn it to be flat, then it makes no uh, sense. It, it doesn't have any real purpose. So you have to be sort of careful in how you pose him because um, it's, it's essentially having a figure with an ankle joint like this. Just the forward and back motion because if you start to turn it to the side, he loses balance. So I don't know why they keep designing them that way. Um, surely someone in their... Uh, QC department can say, hey guys, these don't stand up as well when we do that. But, hey, I don't work there, so I don't know what's going on. So yeah, articulation is not bad, um, but I'm thinking for as much as they're going to get the reuse out of this body, they should have added a swivel down here and gotten rid of the double hinged elbows. I could do without double hinged elbows. A solid uh, swivel hinge joint there would have been perfect. Um, he would have been able to grab all of his weapons just the way you know you want him to. I'm wondering if maybe they did that so he can do like the the thing with the helmet, you know, touch his earpiece so you can hear. I don't know. But uh, yeah, still excellent action figure. These are $20. Um, for $20, um, they're, they're sort of buying the opportunity not to do reuses as much, although they are going to get a lot out of this guy. So, I mean, there's just so many Stormtrooper variants they can do. Um, but yeah, very cool figure for $20. You do get a lot of accessories. The backpack, of course. Um, the long rifle, the bazooka rifle, the uh, submachine gun, all of it fantastic, looks great. I would say he's a solid get. Oh, I forgot, I did, never did try. Yeah, no articulation in the waist. But yeah, solid action figure buy. I recommend him. Um, if you get the chance to pick him up, $20 is great, uh, especially for such an iconic looking character. Um, $20 for uh, sort of a, one of the... Um, <laughs> That's really big. Uh, one of the most unique and uh, uh, interesting designs from uh, Star Wars really isn't that bad. I mean, if, if you're not like a big collector but you want something that represents Star Wars, Stormtrooper's a good way to go. Most people like the Stormtrooper design, so 20 bucks, lots of accessories, uh, pretty good articulation, excellent detail. I'd say pick them up. Of course, you know, once you start paying $20 for figures, uh, the question is, will a company ever ask you to stop paying $20? So, does that mean it's going to drive the price of Marvel Legends and stuff up? We don't know yet, but this is a really good figure. If you get the chance to buy them, I do recommend them. And that's it. So, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments at all, please feel free to give me a holler. I will be around. Um, you can do so by just throwing that down in the box below, of course. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it, guys. And uh, if you need anything, let me know. I will talk to you later, guys.